Welcome to today's GCSE photography lesson. For our silent starter, what I would like you to do is complete the introduction to photography exposure quiz that has been set up for you on forms. You will need to log on to your computers and access our SharePoint following the link at the bottom of this slide. Complete the exposure quiz and then we are going to share our responses on the board and see what recapped learning you have from last lesson. Today's lessons and aims, lesson objectives and aims, are to recap on last week's topic of exposure and to understand how to begin a photography personal project. So this lesson, I'm going to introduce our new project, slightly touch on last week's work on exposure, and then just remind ourselves about how we assess this project and what good examples of personal projects look like online. There's a variety of keywords being used in this lesson, which include abstract, nature, seven elements, seven principles of design, and collage. And some of these keywords you have touched on in our previous lessons. By the end of this session, you will hopefully have an understanding of the key concepts of the seven elements of design and also the seven key principles of design. In terms of photography skills, you're going to learn how to add information to your e-portfolio and add in the investigative shoot homework that was completed. And then finally, there is an extension task to create collages for the remaining two elements and five principles. So all in all, that's what we're aiming for this lesson. And our homework tasks will be set on class charts and also appear in the pink box in the corner. Just to reiterate the course information. So as part of GCSE photography, you have two areas, a portfolio of work and the final exam that's set in the January of year 11. Your portfolio of work will be created in year 10 and in the first term back in year 11, up until December. And then you will do your exam work from the January. You will need to, for your portfolio of work, evidence two full length projects, a minimum of two full length projects. And then you will select your best work and submit this for marking. The portfolio that you're working on that you're starting today will contribute towards 60% of your final grade. So what we need to do now is have a look at some exemplar GCSE examples. And there are many of these that you can find online. The link on the PowerPoint slide will take you to those exemplar GCSE ones. And what you need to do for me is have a look at this exemplar and then with your shoulder partner, discuss how they are strong examples. Is it the layout and presentation? Is it the artist research? Look at the quality of annotation and analysis. Investigate the amount of photos and also the quality of those. How many shoots have been done? What about the contact sheets? What genres or themes were covered? And do you think all this work was done in school or do you think it's a combination of school and homework? Now that we've studied the exemplar examples and we've seen what kind of skills and qualities they show, all it needs for me to remind you is that we will be assessing your work using four assessment objectives. A01, your ability to investigate a theme and explore your project. A02, your ability to experiment with a variety of different media. And that would be both digital and also hand manipulation. AO3 is your ability to record ideas through photography. And that also includes annotation and some evidence of drawing. Although this could be simple, like a sketch or drawing over an image using digital software. And finally, AO4. So at the end of the projects that you do with me for your portfolio of work, there should be some resolve of ideas. And that could be a series of pieces. It could be one piece. It could be a sculptural piece. It could be a collage piece. It could be hand manipulated. It could be digitally manipulated as well. So there is those options with that for AO4. Each one is marked out of 26. So we're now going to begin on our new project of abstract nature and you're going to be using your e-portfolios that you set up last lesson. You should have last lesson created a tab that says component one and put in a subheading that says abstract nature. You'll be setting up your folders today and you'll be following the video tutorials that I have set up for you that are available to watch on our SharePoint area. In terms of the videos, the step one, you'll be setting up your Weebly for your new project. Step two, setting up folders. Step three, adding titles and collages. 
Step four, understanding what the genre of abstract photography means. And step five, to explore those four elements of art and two principles of design. And don't forget, in total, there are seven elements and seven principles of design. And the other ones I'd like you to finish off for homework. So there are five video tutorials that today you can pause, rewind, watch again, and they will explain exactly what you need to do on your ePortfolio. Once your work is done today, make sure you will publish your website so that I can have a look at the progress made in lesson. In terms of homework, as I said before, there is a homework for this lesson and we always set our homeworks weekly. This week is an investigation task and I would like you to either investigate an element of art or a principle of design and create a 15 to 20 image photo shoot based on nature. So have a look in your gardens or whether you've got an indoor house plant. And I'd like you to investigate, for instance, texture or line or symmetry or balance. And again, the instructions for this task will be available for you on class charts. And I'd like you to upload your images onto your Weebly account when completed. 